Well, this is interesting. Michael Bloomberg said, the endless barrage of lies and politics, the epidemic of dishonesty is our greatest threat. Not terrorism, not communism, not jihadism. It is our own willingness to tolerate dishonesty in service of party and pursuit of power. The epidemic I would extend to all American people. It isn't just politics or politicians. He didn't even distinguish between Democrats and Republicans. I think that they can come out now and speak the truth because they know Americans, nothing will phase them anymore. But he is absolutely correct. In fact, I never thought I would agree with you, Michael, but I do. I have said for six years, it is the lie that is killing us. The number one problem, lying in this country. But it is all Americans. And I do want to point out, you cannot get massive wealth by being honest. So Michael, you've got massive wealth. And in fact, you use a lot of that wealth to fund organizations that are trying to get our guns. So you're using your wealth to fund organizations to destroy the Second Amendment. So your deception, you should include your deception as a great threat. He said, it is not an external force or a foreign power that we have to uh, be afraid of. It is our willingness to tolerate dishonesty. For six years, I have said, number one problem, lying. It is the umbrella underneath are all of the problems that we face. This country would never have manifested what it has manifested if we were honest. We're not. The quote-unquote truther community, we have no trust. Why? Well, because there's an awful lot of people who are not honest. Communities destroyed. Why? There's no trust. Because an awful lot of people lie. And you know what? This I have considered to be the most important behavior of all of us. We've got to speak honestly. We have to live honestly. And if we can't do that, then we destroy trust. Do you know, in my travels, I have yet to meet someone who regarded trust as really important. And I'm talking about those that I've met in real life. The lying has to stop. The living a lie has to stop. We won't get anywhere without being honest. Nothing is real when we're not honest. And without honesty, then trust does get destroyed. And if you don't have that foundation of trust, what then manifests an insane, chaotic society where everybody is out for themselves? I think we're living that. Yeah, so Michael, Mr. Globalist, 
uh, who is right in there with the quote unquote elite reshaping this country, reshaping the world for their own benefit. Yeah, you've got your own issues with lying that you need to work out. Just because somebody actually speaks some truth does not mean that they are honest. Many people who aren't honest will speak truth just to win people over and then begin to deceive them. Yeah, we, we really have a big, big, big problem with truth. And I, I will say that I kind of expected more from the quote-unquote truther community. But, well, just think about it. If people were honest, then you, that manifests trust. There is no trust in this community, the truther community, because Americans have really difficult time living honestly, speaking honestly. Because we have manifested a society in which we have to put on the mask and just operate in the world with a persona that is not real in order to be approved of. That's unfortunate. It has really manifested something not well. Our society is very, very sick and it desperately needs healing. And that healing, the number one, the number one healing Uh, antidote, I don't know, is for people to start getting honest. Speaking honestly, living honestly. And that begins with each and every one of us. The link is below.